So the Mercedes E320, the belt had broke. I knew it was gonna come at some point. Uh, if you watch my videos, you would have heard me saying I needed to replace a belt and doing a fluid change and little stuff like that. Um, it also had broke this uh, roller right here, which is uh, right here above uh, the water pump. But um, it's crazy because when I was riding, uh, my temp just went up. And I said, oh yeah, I already know what that is, the belt. And then the light had, uh, uh, a service light had came on, uh, talking about the alternator and battery. And I was like, dang, I already know what it is. So good thing I did not turn off the car at any given point. I stayed the course and made it home. Good thing I was like right down the road, but I was a few miles down the road. So good thing uh, I made it home. So we finna take the Tahoe. Uh, see if O'Reilly's got our belt and his tension and we're gonna slap her back on. And that's pretty much it. And it was really hard to turn uh, the car to, then that the belt was off. And everything, you got your uh, power steering pump, water pump, alternator, your tension and your AC and then your uh, cam. Um, so it was, had a manly uh, turn and stuff it was pretty, crazy but let's get a change overall the engine is good uh, i don't see no extravagant leads i think that's from the overflow tank but we'll see the fan was operating i thought the fan wasn't operating at first but it works but we're gonna see can't wait till i take this tahoe apart So guys, we got our new roller, we got our new belt. Uh, it seems to be more, yeah, it's the same. Got it from O'Reilly's. Uh, this is the part number right here. I might end up uh, adding a uh, German part on there. Really don't want a Chinese part, but we're gonna do what's best and what can we get because we're gonna have to wait uh, for the other one. And then we got our belt and we also got like a three year warranty on there. Uh, so it did cost about 95, but got like a little discount. So, I mean, I always go to these auto parts stores and always get good favors and stuff. And it came out to be 85. So let's throw this bad boy on right here. So guys, as you can see, I got the roller on. Just tighten her up. And I, I'm using a T47 uh, on here. I'm finna go get my... Um, torque wrench finna torque it to spec but overall good i'm thinking about changing the alternator and all that little stuff um later down the road and possibly cleaning these oil leakage well it ain't or it ain't leaking oil or anything but i'm thinking about changing these gaskets and stuff i don't have no signs of the leaks it's just like from the past and all it just need to be cleaned up really well but this is a good reliable engine i'm not gonna lie and i I knew the belt was gonna pop. I just had a feeling I knew it was gonna go at some point in time. But good thing we got this freshly new belt right here and we're gonna see how it will perform. Like I said, I got three year warranty on here. So I guess if it breaks, we get another one, go up there, show and receive, blase, blase. But I'm finna go get my torque wrench and show you how to torque it down. So guys, we are setting this at 35 Newton meters. If we were to install the older one, it would be 25. I have been uh, doing a little research. Uh, one uh, in particular website, I was on MB World, which is Mercedes Benz World. And I just been seeing uh, 35 Newton meters uh, on torque specs. I think that should correlate to 15 foot pounds. Don't get, don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah. Oh shoot, I got that wrong thing on. Let me get back to y'all. All right, we got the right one now. And sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. All right, 
is torqued down to spec. Now let's put on the belt. Let me see. So guys, so guys, when installing the belt, we basically going to go from the power steering pump to the AC compressor all the way over to the uh, camshaft, looping back around over this tension, over the water pump, straight down to the alternator, and then we're gonna have to uh, use the 17 uh, to loosen the tension and bring the belt over. And I will retrace it. So guys, we got our new belt on, as you can see. And speaking of, I gotta change this compressor out, so I'm gonna look online for a compressor right now. So this belt will be right back off. But overall, it was pretty damn easy. We just uh, went from the power steering pump all the way to the AC, follow it through, snaked it down this way, turned it over, over the tension, brought it over the water pump to the alternator, and we had to use a 17 millimeter, like I just said, and we had to take all the tension off this belt just to put this over. Now we're finna crank her back up. All right, she is running. We probably gonna do an engine detail video, so stay tuned for that. But she is running like me, thank God. So yeah. Peace out. Make sure uh, to sub in and like the video. I really appreciate it. So guys, I have been driving the car around and it has been driving good. But the only thing that kind of concerned me is my temp gauge. Usually when I'm driving around just normally and stuff, it should be like at 80. If I'm in second or third, it would be like in that temp range right there, which is about 85, 86. But I have been driving it around and it has not been steady on 80. So I checked my coolant reservoir. It don't seem like I got enough in there. I ain't had nothing spew out on me and all. So you don't supposed to open a, uh, a coolant cap. But anyway, nothing ain't really spew, spew it off. So I'm thinking I need to like top it off, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't know what exact color. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably flushing out the leftover coolant that I said before in a previous video that I was gonna do, flush out the coolant, change the fluids or uh, little things like that, uh, preventive maintenance, you know, I wanna keep this car running like it's supposed to, cause if you take care of your things, things gonna run longer and, and all. So, I need to figure out why that fan not coming on. Uh, if it is on, then we probably need to get uh, some more coolant and see what that is. And hopefully it ain't like no water pump issue or anything like that. I just pray because when I was spinning that bearing earlier, kind of sound like whack, but I mean, I'm not sure. Probably just, just overthinking it. But it's something simple. I might see if this fan running. If not, then I'm finna just conduct some research and probably change uh, the fluids and all that in another video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, been a great day uh, and something so small and crazy happened uh, like this, which is mind blowing. But good thing I was able to react in time. Good thing I was able to get the belt and the tensioner. So that's a blessing right there. But peace out. Make sure you're to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe and uh, like this video. Uh, we got more on E320. Let's get her straight and out because I do want to take uh, this on a little uh, road trip uh, to ride my ATV. So let's go. So, guys, when I was thinking about the situation, uh, I knew it wasn't no water pump issue because if it was a water pump issue, then I would have had a leakage around the water pump and the temp would have still been uh around like 120 on the uh, temp gauge okay so i know the water pump good uh my fan did kick on so the issue i believe i'm having i'm not having enough uh coolant uh in the system so sometimes if we like i recently uh just said i'm gonna end up having to drain the uh, coolant and then put some fresh new coolant and top off the uh reservoir and we should be really fine. And I believe that. Um, but overall, I took it out again. 
and yeah, the fan came on, and I mean everything is working fine. Steering and stuff feel really good. So stay tuned. Like I said, um, this is the actual closing. I make sure to subscribe and thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Let's get this Mercedes back going.